Mobad's body dug out from the grave. Watch video as Naramali and some Larry Hunt. Hello guys, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. You know, I love the ways Nigerian celebrities actually went about this Mobad's case. You know, after his father buried him so quick without an autopsy and without anything happening, a lot of people started questioning. Why would you bury such person that died mysteriously? Why would you force to go and bury a celebrity like that? It's not like this particular boy being more, more bad is a Muslim or anything. No, he's a Christian. And something like that happened to him. Instead of his father to allow some investigations and autopsy to be carried out, he quickly rushed and buried him. Well, as I'm talking to you, as a matter of fact, you know, uh, Mobad's body has actually been uh, exhumed or brought out from the grave. I'm going to play a video for you to watch, and when we come back, we'll actually analyze this particular matter and listen to uh, what uh, other people have to say about his body that was actually exhumed from the grave. One with Mobad's dad, and um, they've agreed that I think the body should be exhumed this midnight of first thing tomorrow morning and um i just thought i should let you know and um they are still taking the question of the father and i'm trying to speak to the cp the cp is trying to speak to them so that they can allow us going our phone okay from the video you just watched you could see where the person is actually confirming that uh, Mubad's body the police have finally concluded that they are going to assume his body for thorough investigation and autopsy to know what eventually led to the death of this particular boy because we've seen a whole lot of videos circulating on the internet how Sam Nari and Naramali had been maltreating and threatening this particular boy how this boy was given a white substance under the supervision of Naramali under the NDLEA so this, these are the investigations that need to be carried out and apart from that a lot of people have equally come out to expose what Naramali did to this particular boy being more, more bad and what Naramali has been doing to even Zinoliski who uh, is his artist that is signed under the Malian music that all the properties and everything that those people, those kids acquire, are being signed and bought under the Malian music name, not even under those people's name. To tell that those properties doesn't even belong to them, and this is and this might be part of the reason why Mobad had to run away from that particular occultic and devilish uh, 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 music label. I'm going to allow, I'm going to play another video for you to watch what uh, ID Kabas. Who is a popular musician said about uh, Naramali and the car that Zinolis cannot, and the houses and everything that Zinolis can buy. When we come back, we we'll actually equally analyze the case. He said the boss for the other guy, the house, the cars were not in that boy's name. <sighs> Omo, that is wickedness of the highest order. How long are we going to be here for? That we'll be treating. The other human being, would I will be treating a fellow human being, a they will be treating fellow human being along like they are mad, like it's madness, it's wickedness. Their minds are twisted. Their mind is totally twisted, as in is wrinkled. Why would you? Why would? Because the idea of all of these things is for him to have his soul behind it. It's for me, as a record label owner, to know that, yes, I'm going to make money from this thing. But I should also remember that this guy that I'm going to work with eh, is also human. He needs a life. I have worked with a whole lot of artists, not all of them bleed. And to date, even the ones that bleed said the boss for... Now, from the video you just watched, you see, as a matter of fact, how ID Kabas is saying that it is heartless for a, 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 a record label boss to be manipulating and using his signees without even caring about their uh, uh, welfare and everything. Everything that those kids are acquiring are uh, under Nanamari's name, meaning Nanamari is equally the owner of those properties. And it is quite pathetic that he's manipulating and using these boys. Well, a lot of people have actually you know, dived into this particular matter, even some spiritual and powerful men of God. And I love the way this particular case is actually going. David Fufain, you know, has said that he will actually go to a mountain to investigate this particular matter to ensure that this boy gets justice, even though that he is dead. David Fufain equally made this particular statement in, in, in a sermon that he gave on Sunday, being two days ago. I'm going to play the video so I listen to what this David Fufain said. Because of this case. Yes, sir. Oh, back Nigerian police. <laughs> we pray us. The mountains are there. I will climb mountain because of this case. Yes, sir. 
so guys from the videos you just watch you could see that a lot of people are way more interested in this particular case the police have commenced an investigation the nigerian government and the Lagos state government have equally instructed the police and every other person involved to come and give their statement and the police gave assurance that whoever that is involved directly or indirectly in this body that wherever the person is across the surface of this particular earth will definitely be arrested so if it's some larry and the naramari like let them run from north to south, from south to west, from west to, west to east and all that. They will definitely come back to Nigeria to answer for all the crimes and all the abomination they committed against this particular boy being more bad. The videos that we watched, this boy really suffered. In fact, they've even killed this particular boy before he even died recently because the way the threats and a whole lot of manipulations and a whole lot of intimidations and bullying they gave to this particular boy, it, is, it was quite, quite pathetic. The body that has been assumed will reveal a lot, a lot of things because aut autopsy and a whole lot of things are going to be exposed. You know, there was a guy that uh, people were accusing that he had a, an issue that Mobad had a very issue with before a night before he died. And some reports are saying that he was actually hypnotized, that a friend of his hypnotized him and all that. And the injection the nurse actually gave to him before he died is going to be all these things, all these things are thoroughly going to be investigated because they want to know the injection that nurse actually gave to him that eventually led to his death. And what was Mobad treating? What was Mobad actually treating that you know made him to go and visit that nurse? And what is the nature of the drug that the nurse gave to him? Was it overdose? Was it expired? Or the nurse was it quack? All these people needs to be questioned, and this is the essence why the body will be assumed and uh, a, 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 an investigation and autopsy and toxicology will actually be done on his body to ascertain what truly led to the death of this particular boy. It is quite pathetic. It is quite pathetic. From the videos we just watched, a lot of them saw well, how this boy has been suffering. None of them said anything. It's after the boy said that they, oh, a lot of them started releasing these videos where the boy was being bullied, harmed, beaten, injured. You know, it, it is it is quite pathetic. Instead of them to release it when the boy was alive, so that people will speak out for him and people will protect him. They kept these videos to themselves. Everybody kept quiet. And after the boy dead, they started releasing these videos. It is quite, 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 quite pathetic. I must tell you for the fact, it is really, really terrible that some people kept short. Some people did not say anything until this boy finally gave up the ghost. Well, I would like you guys to drop your comments in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this recent development after the boy's body, the mobile's body was actually assumed from the grave for investigations and further uh, assessment. Well, I would like you guys to drop your comments in the comment section. And please share this video. Please do well to share this video and click on the like button. Share this video so that people will actually know what is actually happening concerning this mobile case and probably how far the police and how far people have gone to actually, you know, uh, make sure that this particular innocent boy being mobile gets justice because it's going to be a very big lesson to a lot of record lab people who manipulate, who use bully, intimidate a whole lot of people. In fact, a whole, a whole lot of record, record lab bosses who turn their record lab to a secret society whereby they can intimidate and do anything and go scot free. Well, we'll, well, we'll keep on updating you guys concerning this particular incident.